Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we look at Totti, Team of the Year on a Battle. Now, this card is 5-5. She's 5-5. High, high work rates, which are fantastic. Four star, four star combination. What a magnificent looking card. Look at the stats. I mean, the pace, the defending, the physicality, the stamina. I mean, insane looking card with great, great play styles. Yeah. I mean, look at this pass to start the, the video off. Look at that pass. That is an incredible pass on this card. Now, I use this card. In for champions, I use in division rivals as well. Just outstanding. Like, I couldn't fault this card one bit. Even the work rates make sense when you're as good as her. You know, she was really good going forward. Really good coming back as well. The stamina complemented that as well. Because obviously one of the big issues is one thing I found out personally for myself. When I was using the right back as a right wing back. You know, stamina was a bit of an issue. But for this card, no problem whatsoever. You know, passing was ticked off. Fantastic passing. Pace insane. What I really like about this card is the 4-star, four 4-star four combination and the ability to push forward. Now, look, I know Travellers have been nerfed. We're not going to have a conversation regarding Travellers. But I do see more people playing this game in a certain way, okay, than they used to before. Like, so for example, right now, I think one of the meta things people are using is using their right backs and left backs as left wing backs or right wing backs and allowing them to get forward. What that does is, it's almost like having another forward in your team. They're going to cross the ball in or they're going to be able to pass the ball. You know this game, man, a lot of people play the same way. Cutting on the byline, pass the balls, get that ball at the back of the net. Since I think long shots in general with the Traveller and also the finesse shot trait have been nerfed, I certainly do think, you know, absolutely, I don't think it's questionable. I think it's a common consensus between all of us FIFA fans or EFC fans is that, you know, Travellers have been nerfed. And I just think to myself, now people are finding other alternative ways to score goals. Having a right wing back with skills, great pace, great shooting, great passing, great physicality, great stamina, great dribbling. Why not, guy? you know, buy this card? I know it's almost 2 million coins, but I just think to myself, this is a perfect right back. I mean, I've used many right backs so far. Don't get me wrong, Cafu, I prefer his height and his strength, but this card is better than Cafu. I mean, look at it. Her pace is ridiculous, honestly. She's so quick. And then with the incisive pass plus, she doesn't make a mistake with the passing. Just an insane card, like, just honestly, just blew me away. Every single one of these Team of the Year cards has just done one thing to me, blown me away for six, and kind of that price, the tag that comes with these sort of cards, I do think that is justified because how hard it is to pack them in a tradable pack and, of course, how good they are. Kind of, um, you know, vouches the why they're so expensive. A lot of these cards also, she's got a really nice cross. Look at that. That was like a whip, whip cross right there so look just an insane card just does everything right yes maybe when team of the season cards come out maybe height and strength could potentially be a bit of an issue but look overall i think women players have blown us all away for six she's stronger than what you anticipate she's better than what you think s tier all day every single day thank you